talking to Mrs. Mary Wilburn. Now Mary is English and she has some very interesting things to talk about because she herself was a passenger aboard the Titanic on its maiden voyage in April of 1912. Mary, what were you doing in Europe at the time? Were you visiting or were you coming over here for the first time? Coming over here. Uh, let me see. Uh, how long ago? Uh, I think that was coming here to. to yeah, I was in London then, living in London. And I came over here. Uh, to stay, to stay here. To stay in the States. Were you married at the time, Mary? No. I see. And did you, were you coming to New York City to stay? I didn't know where I was coming to. You were just coming here. here. I was just coming to America. Do you remember how old you were at the time, Mary? Oh, I can't remember. <laughs> That's too long. You were a young lady, about 23 or 4 or something? No, no, no. Well, you can be back for years. We'll, you know we'll figure it out later, okay? How old are you now, Mary? I don't know. I'm 90-some years old, something like that. A good long while, anyway. Mary, I want you to try and go back in your memory now. Do you remember the first day out on the ship and what, what you were doing? Oh, yes. We were, we all, it was a beautiful ship. Yes. Oh, it was just gorgeous. Mm. The floors, I never will forget them. They were just all the cut work on the, you know, Oh, they were beautiful. Yes. That was a beautiful ship. And of course it was brand new too, wasn't it? Sure. And where did you embark from, Mary? What port? London. Well, did I you go to Southampton? No. And, and uh, in the south part of London, uh, uh, let me see now, uh, I'm trying to remember so long ago, I can't even remember. Uh, where I uh, bought my ticket. In fact, I, uh, I uh, bought a ticket on another ship. You did? Yeah, and uh, they afterwards come to me and asked me, th th told me that they wanted to fill up the Titanic. I see. On this maiden trip. And I said, would you care, mind changing over? And I said, no, I don't care. So, I, oh, that ship was beautiful. Mm. I, I never shall forget it. Now tell me, Mary, did you go by yourself or were you with someone well, else? I was all alone, but I made friends and uh, we had a, a wonderful time, a wonderful trip. What did you do on the boat uh, in those first days? Well, you know, it's kind of hard to remember, but uh, you get acquainted with people and uh, uh, some fellas, uh, there's another couple of girls with me, and we got went all around the ship and looked at everything, and and uh, in fact we helped one another, especially to put on our, our life belts. Well, now let's wait a now minute. That's an awful job to, to get one of them things on. Did you share a cabin with someone? Yeah. No, I can't take down and ask me a name because uh -huh. I knew it then, but that's a long time ago. Well, now, um, the voyage went pretty well for the first three days, didn't it? Oh, we had a wonderful trip. Oh, mm -hmm. it was beautiful. Now, you remember on the evening that the, it struck the iceberg. Where were you at that time? Bed. You were in bed. It was about 11 o'clock, was it? Yep. And, uh, Someone, I don't, we didn't see who it was, but it was a seaman, I, I guess, hmm. sailor, you know, yes. came bang on the door with a stick. Yes. Everybody on deck right away. Oh, the doors will be locked and uh, you, you won't get out. Of course, he got up and immediately, and an old lady was with me, she was a cripple. She had been a nurse and she was all for help, and she had, she had took her, I had a, 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 a got a low birth, uh, uh, you know. Uh, yes. But uh, I gave it over to her. I changed, let her take it so that. So she wouldn't have to climb up, eh? No. 
Now, uh... And me, I was in bed, and I could, and I ne never will forget, and I, I can close my eyes now, and I can still feel that, feel that, that ship going, uh, mm -hmm. asleep, but yet, uh, half awake, and, uh, Yes. And the first thing you know, uh, Did you hear a noise, or you were asleep? Well, I was asleep, and it woke me up, because mm -hmm. I, that stopped. I see. And I sat up and I said, uh, I wonder what's happened. I said, uh, I said, the ship st stopped. And uh, this woman, she was, had been a nurse. She was, a lot of I take my upstairs mm -hmm. so that she, because she uh, was such a cripple. And uh, I had no sooner said that when somebody, it must have been a sailor, came along with a big stick. And, banged on the door, and I never will forget. He said, there everybody on deck right away. If you don't get out of your cabin right away, the, the doors will be locked. And did you leave right away? Well, we got out of bed and started to... Did you get I, dressed? Did you put on some warm clothes? I put, I had a nightgown on, and I put, I reached up, and I had a heavy coat, tweed coat. My yes. family told me to buy one to wear on the ship. And I put that on and pulled on a pair of shoes. Just reached down. That's all I had on when I left the ship. Were there life preservers in your cabin? Yeah. Did you put one on? Not then. Mm hmm But we got outside the door, and everybody was running here and there and sailors. And, and we looked, I looked ahead. They were, they were going up the gangplank. Yes. And all I said to this woman, she was an older woman, she had been a nurse, she had all her bad on her feet. All I said, our knife belts. I said, I know where they are. I said, they're on top of the wardrobe. I said, I could see it when I was in bed. Mm -hmm. I said, you keep going, because she was a cripple. I said, you keep going, and I'll go back and get them. I said, but you would wait for me at the top of the stairs, top of the stairway. Yes. And uh, she did, and I jumped up on these bed, and I took hold of them, and I threw them down, two of them, or threw them down, and they weigh a ton. Yes. And uh, then I got down and picked, uh, dragged up like that, and I dragged them behind me all the way up the gangplank get, to get up, up. On the deck? Yeah. Was it cold when you got outside? <laughs> Was it cold? If I, I mean, you didn't feel the cold, all the crying and the screaming. I can, even today, I can close my eyes and I can see that thing just as plain. Tell me, Mrs. Wilburn, was the ship beginning to list at this time? Could you tell that it was going down one way or the no. other? Not yet. Not yet. And when you got on deck, what did they have you do? Well, first thing you know, uh, everybody was running here then, and everybody was putting on my life belts. And I said, oh, I said to this woman, I said, oh, I said, our life belts. I said, they're on top of the wardrobe in, our ca in my, our cabin. And you went and got them and got them back. I went back and right. got them and dragged and you them. you put them on. And dragged them, and when we got on top, some man helped us. Fasten them on us. I see. Now tell me, Mrs. Wilburn, um, was the ship's whistle blowing? Was it making a lot of noise? Were they sending well, out it flares? Wasn't, it wasn't the ship so much. It was the people. Mm -hmm. The people screaming and crying, and the children crying. Just a lot of panic. And yeah. Yes. Now how long did you stay on deck, and what did they have you do up there? Well, we just got in line. Did they tell you to go to a certain place? Uh, yes. And then... Uh, we st got got up on the on the on board of this here, uh, I don't know what you call it, but we stood on there waiting to get into the life belt, mm -hmm. the life boat. Yes. And uh, I was always cross little like I am now, and uh, like the sailor kept taking them, putting them in the life boat, and uh, he said shouted to the fellow down below, lower away, there was at the lower the yes. ship down. Yes. And he turned around and saw me. Well, you know, this is God's truth. He picked me up just like that, and he dropped me on that lifeboat as it was going down. My goodness. Did you get hurt? 
Well, both my knees hit the gum well and another top of the... Yes. And I was a cripple there. I could hardly walk. And anyway, I guess it was to be. They got me in the lifeboat, and I was in there all night with the rest of the people. And we kept seeing the ships come up, and they'd come up and stop for a little while, and then they'd go away. But, uh, oh, but the, the, uh, the Carpathia, there was, which one? The Carpathia came later, yes. Uh, uh, that's the ship that picked us up. Yes. Mrs. Wilburn, uh, was, your life, was your lifeboat full? Well, I couldn't tell you to tell the real God's truth. It was night time and mm -hmm. people crying and children screaming. Yes. Was it, I mean, were there any men on the lifeboat? Well, there was only allowed uh, two, mm -hmm. two men to row the boat. There was, that's all the men. There wasn't allowed no men at all, women, children. Did you know, did the people know that there were not enough lifeboats for the whole crew and no, passengers? No, we didn't know it. You didn't know that then, did you? Not until we got on the Carpathia, the mm -hmm. ship that picked us up. Mm -hmm. When you were in the water in the lifeboat, could you see the ship was beginning to point downward in one direction? Well, it didn't seem to. Boy, I can remember it just like that, it just, just a little bit, but oh, it was visible right up to when they filled the lifeboat and took us up next morning. Because, you know, they took us up in a kind mm -hmm. of a barrel thing. They put us in mm -hmm. and wound us up in, onto the Carpathia. Um, Mrs. Wilburn, um, there are a lot of famous people on the Titanic. Oh, yeah. Did uh, you Mr. see any Mrs. of them? Strauss. M Mr. and Mrs. Strauss? Yeah, uh, that's two people. So they clung to one another, and they tried to take her away because it was women and children first. Yes. Yeah. And she no, where he goes, I go. And they were, uh, the last I saw them, they were both clinging together, Mr. and Mrs. Trout. Did you actually see that, Mrs. Wilburn? Huh? Did you see that? You I saw? actually saw that. Mm -hmm. There were other famous people on the ship, too. Do you oh, remember any of them? Loads of them. Yes, very wealthy people. I think one of the Astors was on. Oh, yes. Was, yes. But was the but, band playing? Did you hear the band? The band was playing and when we got... Uh, I was playing near to my God to thee, near to thee. Did you hear that from the yeah, lifeboat? I heard that. It was in the lifeboat. Did you see them shoot off any flares into the air to attract attention? But all ships, uh, ships stopped there all night long. They stopped, big ships. Yes. Until the uh, Carpathia, the one that picked us up, she's the one that stopped and waited to, and, and, and picked, up, uh, picked us all up out of the lifeboats. Next morning, it's got daylight. Yeah. Mrs. Wilburn, did you actually see the ship go down? Or were the you... The never did sink. The, the Titanic, Titanic no. never sunk. Yeah. Well, Mrs. Wilburn, yes, the Titanic sunk eventually. It went down. Oh, it tipped, tipped this way at first. Yes. Uh, I don't know what they call the after for. Yes. But it was, when I last, the last I saw of it, it was... It was halfway down in the water, mm -hmm. standing up in the air. Standing so up that's in the air. That's ocean. the last you saw of it. And then you rode far enough away from it. Well, they took us in the, the Carpathia that picked us up. Mm -hmm. they, they took us, got us away from the wreck. You yes, know, of course. Because they're all kind of lifeboats and people screaming and children crying. You have no idea. Tell me, Mrs. Woman, did people jump off the ship in panic before it sank? No. I never saw him do anything like that. Mm -hmm. But, uh, of course, it was women and children first. All the men, they were making rafts, tying, tying chairs together and throwing them in the water. And, uh, and to right, make rafts. Yeah, right there. Yes, yeah. yes. Did any of those people survive who got on these rafts? I don't rafts? know. I never mm -hmm. saw any of them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When they took us up on the Carpathia, mm -hmm. didn't see anybody. They, of course, they put us most, most of us to bed. Yes. And got you warmed up, huh? You yeah. must have been very, very cold. Yeah. I don't know. I gave the coat on. Mm -hmm. Tell me, Mrs. Uh, Woman, did you see the iceberg that the Titanic hit? Did you see it there? The big chunk of ice? Yeah. You see, it wasn't what you could see. It was what was under the water. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's what sunk the Titanic. It lifted open underwater, yeah, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. It, sh it 
slit it open all right at the side. Yes. Yeah, mm. Underwater. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, um... Well, of course, I had a lot of reporters and people come, and I could have made money, of course, but I, I said, I, I don't want anything, I said. You just oh. wanted your life. You were glad to have that, I suppose. Yes, I'm alive, and I said, I, long as they, long as they, and when they wrote me and had, uh, said, uh, you have to uh, say what you lost, you, what, how much you, mm -hmm. I said, I don't want anything. I said, uh, all I want to know is uh, if it means more for the children, I said, I give up all claim. I never got that. I never asked them for that. That's something. Miss Fulman, did you ever see <coughs> your cabin mate again? The cripple well, lady? Uh, after we was up on the ship, when we had got up on the ship. But did she get into a lifeboat? I don't know. You never saw her again? No, she was a big woman too. Mm -hmm. Were there any people on the ship that you had met, made friends with, that you saw later on? No, they, you see, uh, all friend, all, everybody had their friends there to meet the ship. And when the ship docked, they got, got rid of us, right? Uh, running law, he was there uh, waiting for the ship, for the Carpathia to, uh, for the ship to land so that we could, they could, and he was there at 12 o'clock and he caught the last bus there's train over to step down in New York, you know. Who was this that did this? My, my brother-in-law. Your brother-in-law? Yeah. And did your family back in London, when, did, when were they notified that you were all right? Oh, they got word after a while. Yeah. Yeah. A day or so later? Yeah. I bet they were very relieved. Yes, that, that was, my father and mother was awful worried. I was glad I was alone, because I made a trip out to that with my son. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like big fella now. Mm -hmm. uh, I took him home and see my parents after that. You on, on ship? You went back by ship? Sure, yeah. And how soon after did you go back? Oh, I don't After the First World War? Well, I got, yeah, I got married and, and then I had the boy. Mm -hmm. He was just about walking. And then I know I was busy gossiping with some other woman. And, took my eyes off him when I looked back he had his head through the porthole, you know, <laughs> looking in the boy, I almost died. <laughs> He's alive now, a great big fella. My son. Um Yeah, there's a, a lot of things to be thankful for, but uh, of course I, when I wrote them they wrote me and said I should put it a claim for what I lost on yes. the Well you must have lost a lot of luggage and clothing. Well, I lost a I said, if, I said, if, there, if it means more, I said, if it means more for the children. Oh, you see, those children. I said, I give up all claims, so I didn't get that. There were quite a few children on board the ship, according to yeah. you. Yeah, I said, if it means more for the children, I give up all claim. I never got that. I never, well, I, it was my own fault. Were most of the passengers American or British, or was it about 50-50? Oh, I don't 50? know. I can tell you that, because we were second cabin. Mm -hmm. It was beautiful. Oh, mm -hmm. that ship was mm -hmm. beautiful. The floor was all engraved. It was all carved out. Oh, it was beautiful. Just gorgeous. A great, four great big smokestacks, too, oh, didn't Oh, it was a lovely ship. Yes. Um, yes. She's not sunk yet, is she? Yes, yes, she is. Is she gone down now? Yes, she's gone down. Yes, she's at the bottom of the Atlantic there. Yes. You see, she was too heavy. They couldn't. They tried to raise her. They couldn't. She was too heavy. Yes, yes. Uh, do you remember the meals you had on the ship? Were they very good? I bet they oh, were. Oh, yeah, I remember all that. And beautiful waiters and everything. All of that. Those steps, I can see that in the front hall, you know, as you're coming. Oh, like ivory, you know, white marble. Oh, they were beautiful. Oh, that was a beautiful ship. And they called it an unsinkable ship, remember? Yeah, that was true. It was unsinkable. But it wasn't unsinkable. No, I guess... And it was only just a little bit below the waterline that, that sunk her. That's right. That's all it you took. Know, the only trouble was uh, she was too heavy, you see. 
the Titanic was too heavy, they couldn't, they couldn't move it. Well, you know, of course, that there were more passengers on the ship than they had lifeboats. I gave up the whole claim. I said, if it means more for the children, mm -hmm. I said, I give up all claim. And I did. I didn't ask them for that. What's the, what's the thing you remember the most about the whole experience that comes to your mind the most, that you think about the most? No, I don't know. Of course, I had... I couldn't tell you. It was all just a one dream. Like a, like a bad dream? Like a nightmare? Oh, I could... I, so, uh, church sofas and all kinds of things that have had me talking, yes. telling about the Titanic. Because yes. I was the only survivor of, of, on Staten Island. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, you've seen the movie about the Titanic called A Night to Remember? Well, oh, you haven't I seen that? I never would go to see it. You didn't I want to see it? I don't want to see it. I mm -hmm. saw enough of it. I see. I see. I thought perhaps if you had seen it, you might have been able to tell how accurate it no, was. No, I didn't see it. You don't like to be reminded of it too often, do you? Oh, well, I don't care now. It's so old, you know. Uh, um, old people say, oh, you you was on the Titanic. I said, oh, yeah, I was on the Titanic. Yes. I got so tired of reporters coming there. Yes, yes. Oh, boy. Mary, when you come out in the hall, there's another reporter wants to talk to you. Oh, boy. You know, there were reports, Mary, that uh, some men got dressed as women in order to get off the Titanic. Yeah. Did you ever hear that? Never heard that. Well, that's a story that's told, that some men... I don't believe they all want to make a lot of stories. I don't, don't believe it. You don't think that's true? You think they just added that it to make it more of a story? The morning we was in the lifeboat the next morning. We were in the lifeboat all night waiting for, for the ship to come up and take us off, you know? Yes. Looked out over that water and saw all the people drowned, them women and the children. That's what hurts me more. I try not to think about it. You mean you saw a lot of p drowned people on the wa floating on the water? Yes. Oh yeah. And that's what I, that's what I don't. I always try to, when I think of start thinking about it. I look at the side. I don't. Oh, it was a terrible sight. Yes, I bet it was. See all the people that was drowned. Yes. Yes, a terrible thing. Well, there were over 1,500 people lost on that. It was a terrible business, yes. They haven't done anything about it either yet, have they? Well... Uh, another thing, you see, I, I could have got a lot of money from the Titanic. But I wrote and told them, I said, if, I said, uh, if it means more for the children, all I could see was those children mm -hmm. crying. Mm -hmm. As if it means more for the children, I give up all claim. But I'd never ask them for that. Well, Mary, this has been a wonderful experience to hear you tell this story. And I'm very grateful that you've been so nice about it. Oh, no, I was just worried to death. And two or three of them a day had come. No, I'm not going to see any more of them now. And I finally, I left word in the front hall. I was, I don't know, I don't know where it was. Uh, that big, uh, uh, big uh, place here, the close here, what's the name of it? Uh, that's where I was when I left mm -hmm. there to take the trip. Mm -hmm. When was the last time you were back in England, Mary? That was the last time. When was that? Oh, I couldn't tell you, because mm -hmm. I got married uh, very s not so soon, about six months or so. What was your name before it was Wilburn, before you were married? Davis. Davis. Mary Davis. Yeah. Yeah. yeah well, of course, when I went, then I took my son, the one that... that yes. Took him over to see my father and mother, hmm. and then came back again. But you've been a Yankee for a long time now, haven't oh, you? Oh, I'm American. I was... <laughs> I was Mar I married an American. Uh -huh. Oh, I'm American. I, Hell, oh, you're English. Yeah, English war, but I'm an American. You're an American now. And a very good one, too. Thanks a lot, Mary. What?